ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of On The Rise Championship Wrestling. We're going to go right into the show. Um, we have a fatal four-way for the OTR Television Championship. Day Noah, Dominic Henry, Vinny V, and Triple T. Triple T just won the belt last week. And he had three different contenders wanting to step up to the plate after DJ decided to disregard um, his rematch clause. So we are going to find out if Triple T is going to be able to take on these three contenders and come out unscathed or will we have a new champion here tonight. Our next match is Morrison Moore, Day's View versus Jared Rowland. Followed up with that. We have the Star Breaker, J Star versus Corey Monroe. Okay. Then you have Jocelyn Hardcore versus Lakshmi uh, Shahaji. Oh, we're gonna have to fix that real quick because that. There we go. Oh no, nope. we gotta fix that again. Sorry about that. That's how it's supposed to be. Look, she It's for a title match. And then you have an eight man gauntlet match. Winner is to qualify for uh, the seventh spot of the main event for Rise to Glory. So let's get right into the show, shall we? We're going to make sure that. No controller is assigned. The fans have taken their seats. Let's introduce our contenders. The following contest is a fatal four-way match and is for the television. Introducing the challenger from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 245 pounds, Dave Noah! Dave Noah trying to claim gold here in OTR by stepping up to the challenge. Will he be able to prove that he is the one of one here tonight? down that ramp Dominic Henry getting ready to take on all challengers here tonight will he be able to claim gold or will he fall to the wayside Dominic Henry a dominant force here in OTR will he be able to use that brute strength of his to move on as the OTR Television Championship. Did you see how hard the ball hit me, kiddo? And introducing 
Vinny V was the inaugural OTR television champion, but now he is here to reclaim gold. But the question still remains, is his rivalry with DJ over, or is he here to prove DJ that he is the better man? The fact that DJ decided to refuse his rematch clause, will Vinny use that as a way to coax DJ back into the rivalry that he him and DJ have. Vinny donning some new ring gear looks really cool. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you wear, it doesn't matter how much pyro you have, it's all about what you can do in that ring. And I'll tell you right now, out of the four competitors, Vinny could definitely get the job done. But we're going to go down to ringside so the announcer could call in and introduce our champion. From VoiceOver County, California, Tommy Tom Tom, Triple T, a TikTok star gone wrestler. He was able to put down DJ not once, but twice to reclaim the OTR Television Championship. He has the absolute hardest challenge that he will face as an OTR Television Champion, as he will be the first champion to defend it in a fatal four-way match. We are getting closer to the Rise to Glory pay-per-view, so everything from here on is big. Let's head it down for the official announcements. The belt is held in the air. The competitors know what this is all about. Fatal four-way, no DQs, Winner by pinfall or submission. The champion looks ready. The bell sounds and here we go. Your current champion trapped in the corner and Dominic Henry uses that strength to throw him with a beer, a beer toss. The action is going to be quick pace. Going for a quick cover on the champion. And Vinny takes out the ref this early in the match. Luckily, that ref is built tough. She is back on her feet. Inside the ring, Dominic Henry, Day Noah. And again, Dominic Henry showing off that strength, just tossing the competitors like a rag dog. And a chair has been introduced into the match. There goes Tommy, swinging away on Vinny V. Day Noah got Triple T up on the shoulders and hanging him up to dry. Thunderous kick to the face. Vinny V to Dominic Henry. Oh, the face wash to Day Noah in the corner. And a, ooh, devastating DVT, but there's a cover in the ring. And almost a three count. Day Noah still too strong. Beautiful headlock takeover there. Oh, he hooks in that arm bar. It was almost locked in tight, but Dominic Henry broke that up. Introducing yet another weapon, but gets caught with a Saito suplex. Knee 
breaker there to Triple T. Triple T back up on his feet, though, trying to return the favor up on the shoulders. Day Noah comes down, goes for a combination of punches. Out on the outside, though, Gorilla Press drop. Oh, and to the back with a sledgehammer. And there goes the chair shot to the back of Triple T. Yet another DDT to the outside. Triple T creating some space, fighting back. De Noah switches it up. Irish whips him into the corner. Ooh, Kendo stick straight to the throat, but then moves out the way. Again, De Noah puts Triple T back in the corner. Headshot. And then Triple T fights out of the corner again. Wait, both arms a hook. DDT goes for the cover. And it was almost a three count. It looked like Dominic Henry was trying to rush back into the ring, but Vinny V was too busy fighting him on the outside. Oh, dumped over! And a kick out at two. That was twice that Triple T almost had this match won. Big knee to the side of the head, but a kick out at one. Giant suplex. Day Noah taking all the punishment in this match at this point. Triple T back into the ring, taking advantage. Oh, he was going for something big, but then Day Noah switched that out into a DDT. Oh, all that weight behind that basement dropkick sends Vinny back down to the floor. Vinny is stunned on the ropes. Dominic Henry looked like he went for a spear. Oh, the body attack knocks Day Noah straight to the ground. Oh, hangs him up to dry on that top rope. They know we're trying to get his breath back. Oh, he gets a kendo stick straight thrown to the face, then sidesteps a big boot. Wait, Triple Team just got low blowed. Not like this, and he kicks out just in the nick of time. Neck breaker. Oh, what goes up must come down with a gringo killer. But is broken up by Day Noah. Vinny V and Day Noah, only two men on their feet currently right now inside the ring. Triple T makes it back to his feet. Waist lock. Russian leg sweep. Two men collided there. Nothing came after that word. Vinny V. Trying to figure out what his next move is going to be. A baseball bat has been introduced. Dominic Henry is busted open. Baseball bat strikes going around. Oh! A flying headbutt there. Dominic Henry was able to knock Dano out of the ring. Oh, it looks like Vinny V and Dano are or Vinny V and Dominic are focusing on De Noah here. Oh, but breaking up whatever was coming. That arm stretch there. Oh. Definitely could break down a man's shoulders on that one. Without your arms or shoulders, you can't lift another man up. And Dominic Henry is definitely somebody you're going to need all your strength to pick him up. And with a belly to belly. Slam, but followed up with a basement dropkick by Vinny, dropping Dominic Henry. But Dominic Henry back up on his feet, kendo stick in hand. Ooh, running kitchen sink, but inside the ring, there goes one tear drop suplex. There goes a second one. 
Triple teardrop by Day Noah. Tommy is out. A stomp and an elbow drop combo there. Dominic Henry was kind of working together with Day Noah, but then there goes Triple T fighting out of that. Both arms are hooked, another DDT. Clothesline, Dominic Henry still up on his feet though. Slinged him into the corner. Day Noah is down. Oh, the combination of strikes there. Vinny continuing those strikes. Oh! Triple T with a German suplex. Triple T looks fired up now. Showing his wrestling background with that takedown. Oh, pendulum backbreaker. Goes for a cover, though. And it's over. Day Noah able to get the pinfall over Triple T. Here's the official announcement. With all the punishment that Day Noah just took in this match, I would have not have thought he would pull it out where he was the victor. But here he is, the new OTR television champion. What a match. We'll find out next week if Tommy Tom Tom, Triple T, wants his rematch clause. Which I'm pretty sure, knowing what type of champion he is or was, he definitely would take that no problem. But moving on to the second match. The debut of Morrison Moore versus Jared Rowland, a.k.a. Maniac. Making a grand entrance here. The lights, the golden robe. Morrison Moore is ready to put on a show. Definitely an up and comer in this league here. Morrison, wow! Really putting on the show for these people. Debut match, and he is already trying to show that he is a superstar. And there's so much more. More sin, more really giving these people a show. Will we see a superstar or is this just all flash and a flash in the pan? Morrison Moore is ready for a fight. Ready to get this debut going and he made sure his entrance was a grand one. But his opponent, Jared Rowland, not one to mess with, Maniac. Maniac is the one to watch out for though in this matchup. He already has a couple of matches underneath his belt here in OTR. And he proved that he is a tough competitor to face. So for this to be Morrison Moore's debut match, Maniac is not one to mess with. And Morrison Moore should not take Maniac lightly. But we will see right now if he's able to step up to this challenge. Maniac taking his time. 
taking his time to enter the arena, wanting to make sure he gets the feel of the crowd and everybody's hyped to see him. This bell sounds, we will see these two men collide. Will Morrison Moore be able to step up to this challenge or will Maniac be able to put a win in the column? We will see as soon as the bell sounds. Here we go, the two men look ready. The bell's about to sound and here we go. Meeting dead center in that ring. Great exchange so far. Morrison Moore using his speed to get one over on Maniac here. Big elbow drop to the back of the head there. Smart move here in the early stages, keeping Maniac down. Not giving him a chance to get up and following it up with yet another one of those elbow drops to the back of the head. Oh, he's got a submission locked in early, but too early in the match. And here comes Maniac. You don't want to give this man a chance to start off some offense and devastating DDT there. Oh, using his speed. Oh, Maniac back up and hits him with a big boot. Morrison Moore, Moore back up. This is a fast-paced match right off the rip. A little trash talking, but should have kept the pace going. Maniac trying to create some separation here. And a chair has been introduced. Mind you, this is not a disqualification. Morrison Moore definitely stepped away from that chair shot. He does not know what Maniac is capable of. I don't even think Maniac knows what he's capable of at this point. Big knee drop to the side of the ring there. And now slowly with those methodical stomps just torturing Morrison Moore. Referee's telling Maniac to get back in. He does a flying forearm. Maniac quickly leaving his feet. Ref getting in the way there. I don't know what more. I don't know what Maniac was thinking there, but it gave Morrison Moore a chance to get ready. Big uh, arm drag. And now the pressure's being put on. Combination of punches and a big gut punch. Went for another strike. Jared moves out of the way. Combination of strikes there. Now Morrison Moore creating some space. Showing off his combinations. Finishing that off with a stiff clothesline at the end of that. And now trying to get some affection from the fans. Went for a combo again, but Maniac decided to block that. Pop-up punch. Goes for a cover, the first cover of the match. And it's a one count. Arm is hooked. What's Maniac thinking here? Gord Buster. Morrison, oh, Sister Abigail goes for the cover. Hits the Sister Abigail from out of nowhere. Oh, drops him down. This could be it right here. 
It's all over. Sister Abigail into that absolute giant slam there. Maniac able to pull out the victory. It's a shame that this debut had to end for Morrison Moore, but he did put up a fight. But Maniac just has those moves that can come from absolutely from out of left field. You don't see it coming. Maniac, you're victor. Our third match coming up, the Starbreaker, Jay Star versus Corey Monroe. This match here tells the tale of who the better tag team is. Our first meet with these two teams, Young and Reckless versus Genesis. Genesis was able to pull out the victory. Why is there two belts on him? The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the generation from New York. Weighing in at 207 pounds, the 24 7 champion and the world heavyweight champion, the superstar J. Starman. Correction. Uh, he is only the OTR world champion. That's a glitch. Because I did not add the 24-7 title into uh, OTR. So, 2K. Come on now. Anyhow, he is just the OTR champion. World champion, I should say. And this match has nothing to do with the titles. It's simply... To prove which team is better. To tell the story. Genesis and Young and Reckless had a meet up for the first time. Genesis was able to pull the win. Then JRK and Alex Rage. Red Arrow had a, a match together. JRK pulled out the win. Once again... They had a second meetup, Genesis versus Young and Reckless. It ended in a draw. So these two competitors, Corey Monroe and J Star, deciding who's the better tag team here with a singles match. If Corey's able to pull out a win, then I think we need to have a definitive winner of this uh, tag team. If J Star wins, then we know that Genesis has. Young and Reckless's number. We will find out what happens here as soon as the bell sounds. Here we go. <coughs> oh, Corey Monroe coming out of the gate with a giant calf kick. Staying on top of J Star there with a neck breaker. J Star trying to recover and a sling blade into a drop kick. The speed of this match is going to be undeniable, ladies and gentlemen. Corey Monroe. One of the faster, definitely the faster of the two between Young and Reckless. And J-Star brings that speed and technical uh, style to Genesis. So we are definitely going to see a fast-paced match here tonight. Dropping those knees to the back of Corey Monroe. Stiff forearm shot while Corey Monroe's down. Throws Corey Monroe into the ref. The ref needs to be a better. Oh, what a knee there out of nowhere. I thought he was going for a back suplex, but turned that into a knee strike. J-Star, definitely a big fan of knees. Moonsault into a reverse DDT. Beautiful maneuver. Big kick. Big knee strike there. J Star controlling this match at the moment. Elbow drop. 
The ref is at two. Now, these these teams got a, a, a count out, a double count out the last time they faced each other as a tag team match. Ref is at three. J Star rolls back in and then steps right back out to reset the ref's count. Rolls back in again. Apparently, J Star does not want this match to end with a count out. Re reset the count multiple times. But big mistake because anything you can do, I can do better. Sling blade into a drop kick combination by Corey Monroe. J Star looked like he was going back into the ring and made a big mistake because a poison Rana delivered by Corey Monroe. Oh, slammed him on that edge of the apron. That's the hardest part of the ring, ladies and gentlemen. That's nothing but a steel bar. They start going to chase after Corey. Rolls back into the ring, though. Playing a little game of cat and mouse. Jay Star taunting Corey Monroe. Corey went to roll back in, and oh, again, a little bit of anything you can do, I can do better. Isn't Rana by Jay Star, but Corey pops right back up, creating some space here. Oh, X Factor Face Buster. On the outside, that can definitely cut a man open right there. The action, returning back into the ring. Snap, suplex, float over, pinfall, and it's a kick out at one. J Star stunned. Oh! Code Red Power Bomb. Now, Corey is taking control of this match. J-Star back up on his feet with the quickness. Snapmare. Oh, charging knee to the spine. Leapfrog. Drop down. Tilt a whirl. Backstabber! Going for a cover here. This could be it. And it's a count at one. Springboard moonsault. Corey looked like he was going for some form of clothesline, but got a combination of a clothesline. Now creating some space. Shoving J-Star off. Stiff shot to the back there. Oh! Vertigo, but foot on the ropes. Oh, this is not good. Waist lock hooked in. That's two. Here comes the third German suplex. The Starbreaker's in trouble. Goes for the cover. And it's a kick out just right before the count of three. Corey Monroe definitely in position to win it all here. But J Star creating some space. Corey trapped in the corner. That's not where you want to be. Bringing back an old school move, the beheading. Goes for the cover. And Corey still has enough fight left. Oh, miscalculated the distance with that springboard there. J-Star plot, plotting, trying to figure out what his next move's gonna be. Oh, it looks like he was going for that Fallen Star backbreaker. Corey Monroe blocks it. Springboard drop kick. Goes for a quick cover. And it's a kick out at one. Still not enough damage done. Corey's in the corner, he's calling for it. This could be the match. And he connects, goes for the cover. One, two, 
And J-Star kicks out of that super kick. Corey going to finish it, climbing to the top rope. Big frog splash, but no follow-up cover, just causing some damage. Went for something big, but gets cut off at the pass. Oh! But Corey pops right back up, but J-Star fighting back. Double clothesline. Foot caught, leg sweep. J-Star back in the driver's seat here. Goes for a cover. Not enough. He needs to put Corey away. Now is the time while he has the advantage, but there he goes. That, that time has come and gone. Corey's got the hand hooked. Here's some high risk maneuver here. What an arm drag from the top rope. Sling blade, drop kick. Could this be setting up for something bigger here? J-Star pops back up on his feet. Combination of kicks, but it's caught by Corey Monroe. Again, locking in that arm. Now's the time to get out of this. J-Star does it though. Arm drag over and he is stunned on the mat, but smart maneuver rolling out of the ring, taking away that advantage from Corey Monroe. Monroe coming around that ring, trying to stay, trying to keep that pressure on. He knows if it lets that advantage slip away, J-Star could definitely come back on this match. Ooh, clothesline, followed with a strong ripcord clothesline. Or German suplex, oh, oh, elevated flatliner right there. This could be it, the count is at six. Both men are down. Count is at seven. The count is at eight. Corey's back in the ring. The count is at nine. 10, Corey Monroe wins by count out. With this win, Corey Monroe makes it even. Genesis won. JRK won. Corey Monroe won. This next matchup that these two teams are going to have is going to be an absolute barn burner. What a match. But now we are moving on to our fourth match of the night. Jocelyn Havoc will go one on one with Lakshmi Shahaji for the OTR. Women's Championship. Go! Oh! It's Raystar! Raystar's come out! What the heck happened to Lakshmi? She doesn't have hair! What is that? Apparently Lakshmi shaved her head before this match. Bell sounds. Jocelyn does not have the advantage here. Goes for the cover. Kick out right before the count of one. Look, she being shocked and surprised. Jocelyn fighting back here. If Jocelyn's able to win this match, she will be the OTR Women's Champion. Raystar trying to put a stop to that before that happens. Big stomp. Jocelyn getting back the advantage of this match. Deadlift, falling powerbomb. Yet, showing that strength again. Another deadlift, power slam. Goes for a cover. Kick out. That heel hook locked in. If Jocelyn's able to win this match she will become the new OTR women's champion but again the rivalry between her and Raystar where will it go from here 
if Johnson is able to become the champion. Oh, spine buster. Combination of strikes. Irish or <laughs> snapmare takeover. Kick to the spine. Is she setting up for something big? No. Big double stomp. Another double stomp. Irish whip. Duck down. Leapfrog. Power slam. Goes for the cover. This could be it right here. No. Kick out at one. go we have a strike him down from that position another power bomb things not looking good for the champ right now another deadlift gut wrench power bomb there the challenger making easy work of the champion as of right now but that could be coming from the anger that she has from the early match attack <laughs> big clothesline and then the stomps Lakshmi is in trouble a little trash but Lakshimi takes advantage of that springboard elbow drop coming up to the top waits for her to climb in goes for a double axe handle but completely misses oh exploder suplex this could be all over from right here Lakshmi's in trouble. Goes for the cover. And no, kicks out at two. Kick to the gut. A quick spin around. Falling power bomb. Discombobulating the opponent. Goes for the cover. And it's all over. Jocelyn Havoc just defeated the OTR Women's Champion. And your new OTR Women's Champion, Jocelyn Hardcore. But she is looking down that ramp, letting Raystar know that this fight isn't over yet. What a match that we just saw there, surviving that attack. But now we are at our main event. It's an eight-man gauntlet eliminator match. These eight men will fight for an opportunity to enter the main event at Rise to Glory. Let's see. Let's see who will be able to move on. just heard the rules of the match let's see who the two competitors starting this match off will be random numbers were drawn in the back and starting off this match at number one Torres 
Tours. The half the half king Tours is walking down that aisle. He wants to win this opportunity to then go and show that he is a true force here in OTR. <clears throat> ready for a fight, ready for war. This man lives and breathes for battle. But let's see who his opponent's going to be. Drawing number two for this gauntlet eliminator. has a real fight feel when it comes to him. He likes to bring a fight. He is the type of person who is a prize fighting type warrior. No flashy gear, just all just enough to lay down an ass whooping and that's all Eddie Orton's about. Will Eddie Orton be able to survive the beginning stages of this match? Will he be able to make it into the, the main event of Rise to Glory? We'll find out soon enough. These, these men have 30 seconds. They have 30 seconds of the ring all to themselves to create as much damage as they want. And here we go. Tor's coming right out the gate with a big shoulder block. Followed up by a big body splash. Time is ticking. The less, the less folks that you have in that ring, the more chance you have to eliminate an opponent. Where you could just focus on one man, but that time is almost over at five seconds left. Giant power bomb to Eddie Orton. Who drew number three? Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for a smoke session because it's Andre Black Draquan coming down that ramp. Big springboard tornado DDT there. Here's where the match gets to pick up a little uh, more quicker pace. Draquan hitting those punches. Using his speed to dodge attacks. Draquan continuing the attack on both opponents. With five seconds left, who drew number four? Ladies and gentlemen, it's DJ. The former OTR television champion. He's entered this match. And he has an opportunity, but he hasn't even entered the ring and Torres is going after him with a chair. DJ decided instead of going after the television championship, he was going to go after this opportunity to potentially go to the main event to win that briefcase. To win a title of his choosing. After that devastating maneuver on the outside, Torres just popped right back up. But Eddie going for a big splash and drawing number five, it's the inspired champion, Demented. And DJ's going right after him. No, he turns around and changes his mind. Ooh, revolutionary knee. Sent inside the ring. The freshest man right now is demented. But those 30 seconds are almost up with five seconds left. Who drew number six? It's your OTR US champion, DTG. And he simply is in this match because he wants to stop Draquan from getting the, the briefcase. Because if Draquan gets the briefcase, he's probably going after DTG. So what better way to take your biggest rival out of the match? 
out of an opportunity than being in the match. Ooh, dropped him right onto that chair. Six men are in. We're at five seconds. Who drew number seven? Oh, God. I just found out that Rockstar just bought his way into this match yet again, buying his way into these opportunities. And look at Rockstar just standing there, letting the action happen. But DTG not having anything to do with it. Ladies and gentlemen, that means our final spot is our final eight spot in this match. A little double team there by Rockstar and Tours. Our final eight spot goes to Vincent Michaels. This is his debut match. Debut match and he is in for a big opportunity. Will he be able to pull this off? Coming from the realm of the boxing world, Vincent Michaels is here to try to make a name for himself and not only that, but show that boxing is the bigger and better sport. This match has so much action, but we are going to do our best to call it. Dre focusing on DTG now because he knows what DTG is there for. Oh, big backbreaker there. Tours is busted open. I don't know what happened there that, that happened, but we got some color, ladies and gentlemen. At this part of the match, ladies and gentlemen, we now have all eight competitors in the ring. Big spinning sidewalk slam there by Dre. All eight competitors are in that ring. Pinfall or submission will eliminate an opponent until we are down to our last man standing. Giant running powerbomb by Andre Black. Oh, and there goes Rockstar using all his weight with that flying clothesline. And it's a kick out at two. Draquan continues to fight. DTG looked like he was going to attack DJ with that kendo stick, but was blocked last second. What a move there. Oh, the combination of punches to the gut and then the straight cross to the face. Vincent Michael showing that he has powers, power in that fist. Well, it's one thing to be in a street fight. It's another thing to be in a wrestling match. Will Vincent Michael be able to take care of this? Combination of punches to the gut. And a headlock suplex goes for the cover. And it's a kick out. Irish whip to the corner. No. Reverses it. Dre going for. Oh! One corner to another. Goes for a cover. Kick out at one. All other competitors on the outside. Springboard drop kick. Oh, a right cross across the jaw. Goes for a cover. And it's a kick out at one. Giant Alabama slam. Demented looking for some revenge. Rockstar just hit Eddie with something. And it's a kick out at one. Waist lock, drop down. Oh, what a kick to the side of the head. Goes for a cover. And 
And Demented was eliminated with that kick to the head. Flying floor on there by DTG. Double rotation moonsault, but out of the last second moves out of the way, goes for the cover of that mistake. Kick out before the count of one. DJ able to bring him up and drop him down. Rockstar fighting back though. The only two men in the ring. Oh, Draquan added to the mix. Oh, Kendo stick across the head of DTG. Oh, and now the boxer has just been knocked with a chair. Welcome to OTR, bud. Draquan kicks out at two. Oh, another springboard tilt to world or tornado DDT by onto Tours. Eddie takes a big boot to the face. Rock goes for the cover. Kick out at two. Oh, a, what a driver there by DJ. Goes for a cover. And a kick out. Oh, Tours went for a big shot. Tours just hit Rock with the Thor of Hammer. Or Hammer of Thor. Oh my goodness, this, this action in this match right now is crazy. I'm at a loss for words. But Rock is in trouble. Rock is down. Oh, there goes that devastating pile driver of DJs. Goes for a cover. And there goes Rockstar. Doesn't matter how much money he has, he just can't seem to buy himself a win. Oh, crazy face buster. DJ goes for a cover on tours. And DJ, back-to-back -back eliminations. Running super kick there to Eddie. DJ seems to be in the driver's seat right now. DJ trying to figure out what to do next. Springboard. Drop kick, but missed. That could be a big mistake. Ray with that combination to DTG. DTG was down for a second. Baseball bat, but blocked right before he was able to strike him with Eddie thrown back into the ring. Ooh. Surprisingly. Suplex cutter. DJ has Eddie down. Oh, what a clothesline turning DTG inside and out. Vincent Michaels really trying to put on a show for this crowd. There goes some dirty boxing tactics. And then a hatch, an arm capture hatch suplex. Throwing a chair to a down opponent and look at him celebrating. Letting him know he has arrived here in OTR. Combination of strikes, but Dre was able to reverse it. Oh, you just gotta watch out. You have to have eyes in the back of your head in a match like this. And there he goes, Michaels going for the strikes here. Big forearm strike, jab combinations. Ali shuffle with a straight right. DJ trying to go after the fighter here. Oh, a straight right cross. DJ's out like a light oh ho, ho. package spike pile driver to the outside 
Vincent Michaels is out cold. DJ finally recovering from that right cross. What a match we've witnessed so far. Oh, tornado springboard DDT goes for a cover. DJ's in trouble. And he kicks out right at the count of 2.99. Moving out of the way, DJ creating some space. Eddie and DJ in the ring here. Big knee strike there. That could be the opening that DJ needed. The fighter, Draquan, taunting each other, going for a, they're, they're ready for a fight to the outside. DTG coming to the outside, going to, af, going after Draquan here. Again, if DTG eliminates Draquan, that means his US title is saved. Also, he has an opportunity to become a double champion by making it to the main event. But those odds are against him as he has less of a 25% chance of it happening. To be exact, he has a 20% chance of happening. I, I had to do basic math there for a second. Combination of different styles of suplex there by DJ. DJ cutting Dre off at the pass. Drop kick. That is definitely a light maneuver here in OTR. Face buster to Eddie on the outside. Draquan being rolled in. The fighter being rolled in. Fighter down. And it's all over. Vincent Michael's been eliminated. Down to the final four. Vincent Michael's trying to exit the ring. After that bat shot. Oh, kicked out. It's not enough, but DTG is busted open. Flying forearm. Dre's busted open. Oh, everybody's bleeding from the face. That kendo stick cracked across the back of DTG. DTG is down. Double power bomb. Triple power bomb. Eddie Orton's in trouble. Not only is Eddie in trouble, but he's eliminated. Now it's down to the final three. DJ, DTG, and Dre. Dre has a rivalry here with DTG. Springboard forearm. Here goes that crazy maneuver of DJ's. Goes for the cover. And DTG is now in trouble because Dre is still in this match. If Dre is able to win this match, he moves on to the main event of Rise to Glory, or Rise to Glory, but if DJ is able to beat Dre, Dre's dreams of becoming a champion will be stopped. Oh, dropped him on the back of the head, reverse DDT, this could be it right here. And Dre has won the match, he is moving on to Rise to Glory. The main event to climb the top of the ladder to receive the briefcase. What a fight that these men went through. And here is your man entering the main event at the seventh spot. One more spot remains for the main event. And we will find out who will claim that spot next week. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us for yet another episodic episode of on the Rise Championship Wrestling, as we like to say, be kind, stay positive, and always remember to keep on stargazing. Good night, everybody.